Hey. What are we doing? <laughs> I forgot what we're up to this time. All right. Soldiers are surrounding Tassing. I only have until the end of the day to finish my investigation. I'll need to act quickly to convince the mob the abbot is innocent. Hopefully it's enough to spare the town. Well, I don't think that's going to happen, honestly. The golden hand. Right now, I would say guy. Two years in the joint. Two years in the joint. Made you a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Return to Martin, Martin Bauer. Yeah. Adox affliction. Specific medicinal plant to help him. Sister Gertrude. Let's do that. Fuck it. Let's do that. I'm going to help Mr. fucking Adoc over here. Um, I think we've talked to everybody. I can't actually remember. If I haven't, well, <laughs> well we're, we're, we're fucked. So that, that's it. Anyway. So what's that super secret game you keep talking about? Wait, what super secret game I keep talking about? What do you... Oh, the game where I say, oh, we might play, play something different. I like how they just like, they, they see me wander into the crypt and they're like, ah, that's chill. And they just let me do whatever. I'm just down there for like half an hour. Sister Gertrude. Let's go see Sister Gert, bro. I should know this plant. Among Us 2. Among Us 2. Epic nunnery edition. She's feeding the squirrels. God bless you, Master Mailer. God bless you, Sister Sophie. It's good to see you again. And you, Master Mailer. The garden looks spec-fucking-tacular. You've taken good care of it. I know it's been some time, Master Mailer, but I must remind you of my vows. I cannot speak with men. Ah, that's right. Forgive me, sister. God bless you, Master Mailer. What a bitch. What a bitch. Sorry, <laughs> that's all I can think of. Matilda? Where's this? I have a feeling Margaret fucking did it. I'm thinking back. I think she snuck up through the crypts, murdered fucking Father Ferentz, and then she blamed it on. I, honest to God, think that she she's the one, this bitch right here, this blind motherfucker, is the one writing all the, the really beautiful, beautiful notes. Amogus? That's right, AJ Lee. How's it fucking going? Hot damn. Hey, we were gone for a long time. I was saying how I think... I can't remember what I mentioned. I think this bitch is the one who's behind everything. And I think Sister Cecilia fucking knew what was up. And she's like, oh, we're going to nail that bitch. And they nailed nailed him. They did. God bless you, Master Mailer. God bless you, Sister Matilda. I wanted to thank you, Master Mailer. Um, I don't recall doing anything worthy of thanks, Sister. You understood that despite what happened to me at the hands of the Baron, you did not condemn me. Oh, it's her. I thought it was the blind one. Huh. Then it's her. That's who I mean then. She's behind everything. <laughs> Blaming this blind motherfucker right here. <laughs> She's just picking her fucking herbs. And I'm like, it's that bitch over there. That's her authorities. <laughs> they like chop her fucking head off. And the woman's like, thanks, by the way. <laughs> have you played Undertale? I have. I have played Undertale um, in university before I was streaming. But I could play it again. The 12 tank fleet versus my sledgehammer. The authorities in Red Faction Gorilla don't fuck around when you get them pissed. It's true. Red Faction Gorilla is in the top 30 games of all time. Bro, bro this is what I'm fucking saying. It's fucking great. Oh, wow. That's so funny. I'm surprised it's not, like, sponsored more for sales. You understood that despite what happened to me at the hands of the Baron, you did not condemn me. I appreciate that. Um... Um, the evidence pointed to Ferenc, uh, not you. The Archdeacon surveyed the evidence. I merely spoke the truth as I saw it. Um, surveyed the evidence. I merely spoke the truth as I saw it. There you go, sure. Yes, well, the entire evening event was a tragedy. I did not expect to see you again. I am glad the Lord gave me a chance to thank you properly. I ought to get back to work. God bless you. And you, sister. Nice. I, maybe I, that was a little harsh how I said. Sister Gertrude is the one I'm supposed to talk to. Tear down, but awesome. Tear down, but uncringe. That was what was nice about it. Is there's actually I wish Tear Down actually had like robot. Well, they had robots, but it's like I don't know. I wish they had more. Hello, <laughs> who's there? Hello, Sister Marguerite. It's Andreas Mailer, the artist. Red Faction Gorilla. It's just like it's like Just Cause, but more controlled. Exactly. That's another good game. I did like Just Cause. Oh, Master Mailer, Mother Illuminata said you'd returned. Is there someone else with you? That smell. The devil. Yes, my apprentice, Casper. H hello. God bless you, Caspar. You smell even more of paint than your master. Uh, Sister Marguerite is blind. She relies on other senses, Caspar. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> You're funny. 
Anyway, I should go. Mother Illuminata doesn't like it when we're distracted from our duties. Of course. Until later, milady. God bless you, Master Mailer. And you too, Kaspar. Um, cool. Fuck yeah. I'm glad we're on the Red Faction train, bro. Let's drop that dollies. God bless you, Andreas. Sister Gert, I have need of herbs for chest pain. Brother Adok is very ill. Yellow gentian, perhaps, or fraxinella. Do you have any? Oh my, Master Mela. Unfortunately, we have none in the herb hut right now. There is yellow gentian higher up the mountain, but I recall there being some in the forest as well. If you can bring me some, I know of a broth that should be of help. Thank you, Sister Gert. I will set out with haste. May God shine mercy upon Brother Adok. Take care, Andreas. Find yellow gentian. I can do that. I'm a guy. I'm a I'm, I'm so capable of that. <clears throat> is the prior rest in here? Oh, she is. Yo, Sister Loom, what's going on? Andreas, good. I was hoping you would come by. Oh, okay. Well, this is a coincidence. That's good. Hello, Mother Luminata. Did you need me for something? Yes, though I was hesitant to distract you from your investigation, and I do not often lead the confines of Kirsau, even in the best of times, which these are decidedly not. Uh, you're being cryptic, bitch. As you noted, I'm a bit busy with the investigation. I'll help in any way I can. God bless you. As our brothers are trapped in the library, it is unlikely that they have received any nourishment. Um, okay, you need me to bring them, uh... Um, they could always eat the books. <laughs> <laughs> you need me to bring them food? <laughs> the peasants are unruly. I need you to guide the sisters past them, through the crypt, and up to the brothers. Um, yeah, the crypt. <laughs> Play dumb. Yes, the secret entrance to the library. I see you remember it well enough. Good. Try it. The good thing the peasants haven't found it. The sisters will say it needs to be tended to after all the mayhem that transpired there. Escort them and the food to the brothers in the library and return when you are finished. Very clever. Naturally, I'll do it. Good. Sister Gertrude and Sister Matilda will go with you. Nice. Fuck yeah, let's do this shit. My god, this place is a mess. What have they done? I don't know. I don't know about this. Hey, Noah's supposed to be in the yurch. What are you doing in here? Um. Um. The sisters need to... Uh, take it easy, Carl. The sisters are just trying to do their jobs. Uh, we're trying to clean up some of your... Your mess! Uh, do we find the culprit who killed Otto? No. We're in the, we're in the process of doing that. It's going to go so fucking well. I, I actually have no idea who it is. I'm supposed to know in like four hours, or otherwise the entire town's getting butchers, getting getting butchered. Take it easy, Carl. The sisters are just trying to do their jobs. What are you talking about? We need to clean the crypt and, and say prayers for the abbots and abbesses buried there. Assuming you haven't looted all of their tombs as well. Hey, that's not, I mean, P Peter told me not to let anyone in the church. Um, come on, it's not like the sisters are hiding anything up their skirts. No, no, they're hiding things up their skirts. First storming the monastery and now stopping the sisters from doing their ordained duty? You're trying to put your soul at risk, Carl? Um, just do us a favor, Carl. It won't take long and we won't tell. First storming the monastery and now, and now stopping the sisters. Just do us a favor, Carl. It won't take long and we won't... It won't take us long and we won't tell. I don't know, Andreas. Peter was pretty adamant. Nobody needs to know we were here. Ah, uh, yes! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Pass five dialogue checks. Oh, wow. Apparently, that's a fucking achievement. Only 33% of players have that. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Ah, oh, Christ. Fine. To the crypt and back. I'll kick you out if you're trying to think funny. Got it? We won't take long. Thank you, Kara. <laughs> nice. Andreas, was that really necessary? Um, sorry, sister. Hmm. <laughs> Quickly, this way. We don't have much time. What did I do that was upsetting? I can't remember. Sister Gertrude, Sister Matilda, what are you doing here? How did you get past the peasants? Andreas helped us, Father. Mother Illuminata thought she might be hungry, and Andreas agreed to bring us here. Oh, praise God, we were starving. Bless you, sisters. Thank you, Saint Sasha. <laughs> 
Sisters, what's going on outside? We've little, we've seen little and heard less since we've been here. Master Mail ought to explain. We've seen little f- firsthand from the convent. Okay. Uh, oh, you don't want to know. You're better off in here. Everything is under control. The town, the, mostly. Come, let's eat and we will explain everything. Father, will you lead us in prayer? What? Of course not. Thank you for the meal, sisters, but we must keep to custom. Um. Oh, don't be such an ass, Father. This is a very strange circumstance, Father. We do not need to keep Carl thinking we're cleaning the crypt, after all. We do need to keep Carl from blah, 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 kid thinking we're cleaning the crypt. 30% of, like, 10 people. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, probably. But that makes me a very... That means I'm in the top three. The top three of all people. <laughs> I don't think... Fine, but only for the sister's safety, and only this once. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I can't remember his name, to be honest with me. I mean, I can't remember his fucking whatever. Almonds. Almonds. It is good to see some friendly faces. Thank you for blessing us with this meal, sisters. <laughs> Fisters. <laughs> <laughs> this dude fucking writes his S's like an F. <laughs> Thank you for bluffing us. It is good to see some friendly faces. Thank you for bluffing us with this meal, Fisters. I'm sure it will restore our strength and vigor. Why is that not... And uh, Why is that... Why is that not a... Is it only in the middle? There's sometimes where... I don't understand how these, like, weird S's work. Bless... Sisters? Res... Because it's not an S there. I don't know, or there. Anyway. These old bones don't have any vigor left, and a meal probably won't help. Being stuck in the drafty library isn't doing any good either. I don't think you've ever had any vigor, old man. Huh? I'm sure you won't remain here long. Andreas was very helpful getting us past the Watchman Peter set. Um. I'm just glad I, I needed some time away from the townsfolk. Uh, I'm just glad I could help. Your kindness is appreciated, Andreas. Thank you. Nice. Red wine, cheese. Uh, I'm gonna start with some bread, I think. He's just actually saying it with an F. <laughs> Thanks for getting us path, Fithers. <laughs> How long will we be stuck in this drafty old tower? I need Sister Gertrude's medicines. Don't worry, Brother Adok. I'm sure I can deliver them. Have you found any evidence as to who really killed Otto, Andreas? I've only just gotten started, Father. It's going to take time. Well, I do have some suspicions, but I can't confirm anything yet. I think I know who killed Otto, but I'm more focused on stopping Peter from burning the Abbey down. Well, I do have some suspicions, but I can't confirm anything yet. Good God, Andreas! What are you doing here? You must convince them it wasn't me! Um... I'm doing my best, Father. Please, have patience. <laughs> it's not your neck of the line, Mailer. Come, Father, eat a bit. I found a good meal settles nerves as well as any mebethim. All right, uh, I'm going to have some cheese and I'm going to wash it down with that wine. There was an awful lot of, of crashing last night. Was anyone hurt? Oh, no, no one's hurt. But the peasants did loot the church and sacristy. Uh, no, not hurt. Just drunk on the sacramental wine. No, but there will be some holy hangovers tomorrow. <laughs> no one laughs. <laughs> but the peasants did loot the church and sacristy. They defiled the sacristy. Sacrilege! Oh, no. Oh, may God repay them their due. By the math, you calm yourself. Um, what, is a, what use does a Benedictine monastery have for gold goblets anyway? I mean, that's one way to receive the sacrament. I'm sure we can replace everything, Matthew. That's not the point. They've abused the body and the blood of Christ. A great sin! By the math, you please! Apologies, Father Rabbit. Nice. Soy Jack. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> stupid Benedictine words. So, Andreas, do you have any idea who the real killer might be? It's too early to tell yet. Ah, of course. Well, I think I saw the murderer running away that night. I could be very helpful in your investigation. Uh, what do you think you saw, brother guy? They were wearing a festival costume, I think, so it can't have been one of the brothers then, obviously. And dark hair, too. Definitely not one of the brothers. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Thank you, brother guy. I'll look into it. Of course, Mailer. Ma oh, ma Mafter Mailer. We all want you to catch the one really responsible for the crime. 
Well, it is good it is good to see you all safe and well. I'm sure Andreas will have all of this fixed soon. Thank you for allowing us to share a meal with the brothers, Father Abbot. Brother Wade Slave. It is good to see you doing well, Matilda. She's a sister, Brother Wade Slave. Yes, I'm glad to see you are well, sister. Uh, may you go with God. And you as well, brother. Mm, I know they be pegging out in the cemetery. <laughs> Please thank Mother Illuminata, Sister Gertrude, and Andreas for relying on you. Please hurry in your investigation. I'll do. I'll be doing this for that. So that tasking as justice, Father, not for you. I'll be as thorough as I can, Father. <laughs> nice. Come, Andres, we better get back before Carl gets suspicious. You too, Caspar. We'll see you soon, Father. If all goes well. Shut the fuck up! Bitch! Nice. Quickly, now back through the crypt. We're just leaving the place like this? Oh dear, we don't have time to clean it. We'll have to hope they don't come down come back down here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Finally! How long does cleaning an old crypt take anyway? That was ages. Well, what do you expect? You and your ransacking friends have been making a mess of it all night. Uh, well, whatever. We're supposed to switch posts again. Post soon. Hurry up and get lost. Get loft. Is that they spoke? Thank you for escorting us, Andreas. We'll, be, we'll let Mother Illuminati know how the brothers are. Good luck with your investigation. Cool. Well, ah, oh, fuck. No, I'm running out of time. <laughs> Shit. I have no fucking clue what to do. Well, I also have to fucking get... I asked Sister Gertrude about a flower that would help Adoc sign. All right. Oh, my God. Um, search the forest to find the flower. So the figure that ran past us. All right. Fuck it. Sure. We also searched the, we searched the forest already. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Oh, God. I'm going to fucking fuck this up. I'm going to get the worst fucking ending. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all fucking over. I want... Oh, shit, those are the soldiers. <laughs> oh, that's not good at all. Brother Eat Doc. Brother Ass Sock. Can I go back over here again? No, it's not going to let me. Okay, forest. I think I can just go down this way. To the waterfall. Oh, hey, I know those flowers. A yellow gentian. Exactly as needed. Hopefully Gertrude can use this. Let's go do that. Bring the gentian to Gertrude. I'm gonna have to deliver to it. My gums are bleeding again. <laughs> again? I have to brush better. No, you don't. Let's you'll be fine. They're meant to bleed. Just let them fucking bleed out. That's why gums are pink. They need to be, uh... It's just your teeth extracting all the blood out of themselves. Upper babby. The game also kind of glitching out too, cause it, it's like I've I've talked to guy about certain things and then he acted like I didn't talk to him and it was fucking weird. I don't fucking know. Hello, Gertrude. God bless you, Andreas. Have you found the yellow gentian? Yes, I have it. By the grace of our Lord, fortunately they are a fair bit dry already. Yes, best to grind and mix the gentian into a broth with a few other herbs for calming the body. It will take a bit of time. Come back later, Andreas. Until then, Malaid. Malabe. Pass the time. All right, cool. I'm just gonna have a little nap or something. I <laughs> just go back, go back to the inn and just sleep. All right, well, cool. That's good. We can do some other shit. Um. Yeah, soldiers approach. That's fine. The prioress. It is. It suggested Otto is going to destroy the Abbey in the hand of Saint Moritz. Um, the Miller. Auto in the comments. Uh, oh, yeah, that's fucking right. I said maybe we'll go back to talk to the Miller guy. Oh, no, goddammit. Um, let's see the map. Tassing. Out of Tassing. Yeah, we can go to the Golden Hand to get people to drink or the mill. Oh, fucking balls, bro. Holy shit. Um... Okay, cool. Well, let's go... Fucking... I don't fucking know. Let's go over here. Guest house locked up. I think I went into the... Uh, we already went to the abattoir. So that's good. Let's go... 
let's go um talk to the miller no way i'm gonna go explore around town because that whole sister illuminata thing wasn't uh that thing was just like that just happened to happen <laughs> good one um we i think we will go talk to the miller um but i want to talk to i'm gonna go talk to the inventor guy Werner, he's just gonna do his thing, right? Hello, Andreas. Like, did I already talk to you? I can't remember. Cool. If I did, well, fuck my ass. Good tidings. These soldiers are encroaching on the town. Yeah, they are. I know. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. All right. Um. Well, let's fucking go to Central Town, so I can Central Pound your mom. Church and Druckers. I don't think anything's in here. Let's go talk to the miller. I don't fucking know. Magdalene. Hello, Andres. I am... Um... <sighs> so why are soldiers approaching? Because all the townsfolk... So the abbey, which you might be able to see. The, up there, the abbey... Um, well, let me explain. So yeah, and that's why the king of Austria is so cool. Let's go talk to the Millers, bro. Elsa. Bless you, Master Miller. Doggy. Um, Lenhart. Ah, Andreas. Appears you're caught up in another murder again. Quite unfortunate timing for you. Quite fortunate for you, given your meal with Baltas and Dr. Stoles. Um, given your... If, if I can really... If I can find the real killer and prevent more bloodshed maybe it's a good thing i was here <clears throat> maybe if i can find the real killer and prevent more bloodshed maybe it's a good thing i was here huh <laughs> just stall them either they'll see the air of their way to the duke will send soldiers to tassing yes show of force that will quench the peasant's bloodlust in any case, if you get tired of investigating, my door is open. If you'd like, join my family for a meal or see the mountains. Just let me know. See the mountains? Yes, for a brief hunt. Hunt? Yes, for deer. I might be able to help you get some perspective on the situation. <laughs> With soldiers surrounding the... the <laughs> I was going to say bitch. With soldiers surrounding the town? Are you sure that's safe? Um, was, With soldiers surrounding the town? Are you sure that's safe? They're surrounding the peasants? The Duke knows I support the Abbot. I always have. You and I aren't in danger, Andreas. If we want to hunt, we can hunt. We can hunt! Um, I'm investigating Otto's murder. A hunt hardly seems appropriate. If it won't help, I can tell you what I know. And I know if, if it would help, I can tell you what I know. And I know a fair deal. What do you know? <laughs> no, come hunting with me and I'll tell you. Alright, fine. Wonderful. You'll have to leave that boy behind. The you have to leave the boy behind, though. He'll slow us down. I understand. Caspar, you can stay here with Paul until we return. All right, master. If his name was Otto, he probably deserved it. He was a chill dude. But yeah, I agree. <clears throat> oh, wow. Holy shit. Damn. A fucking, like, three-hour walk up into the mountains. How is the climb suiting you, Mailer? Suits me just fine. I always love a good hike. I had a chance to do some hiking in the French Alps a few years ago. This isn't as spectacular as Mont Blanc, but <laughs> it's got a sort of unique charm, I would say. But it's lovely. Well, take a moment to appreciate the view. Let me know when you're ready to continue. An invitation to hunt. <laughs> Can I go home? I got a crossbow. Damn. Soldiers. So, that's the church. The abbey? Fuck, the abbey's, like, way up there. So, you actually have to pass the soldiers on your way up to the abbey. So, there's the abbey, and then there's the aqueduct. That's, of course, the mill. That's the church. That's the golden hand. Or is that the golden hand? Smokey's cabin is over in the forest. So, that would mean... Huh. So that would mean, oh, so they did a long walk to get to the aqueduct. Anyway, where is this? Germania? Yeah, baby. Like, oh, here, actually, I can show you. They have a pretty good map. Uh, Europa? So we're right here. We're right there. So there's Mittenwalde. Kempton Innsbrucker. 
Now I'm back. Yeah, right, right around there. Uh, uh, uh huh. Okay, cool. I can see all of Tassing and Kearsau from here. Probably have enough time for a quick sketch. Okay. Despite all of Tassing's troubles, it looks peaceful from up here. Why is this so hard? It's like my mind just wants my hand to stop. I can't even draw something as beautiful as this valley. Unless... Useless. What a waste of time. C cool. <laughs> I'm gonna draw something really quick. You fucking shithead. Snow in June. Some parts of the Alps just thought the snaw <laughs> doesn't melt until late summer. Can I check anything else out? Snow in Yoon. In some parts of the Balps. Some parts of the Balps! Alright, cool. Lenhard. Also, the Netherlands is wrong in the map. Flevoland doesn't exist yet, really? This is 1525. Is that true? Look, you can see the Duke's soldiers getting information around the town. <laughs> Peter has no idea what he's gotten the peasants into. Come nightfall, I'll be too late. Only if I... <clears throat> Yeah, you seem rather happy about the only if I can't you seem rather happy about the whole situation come nightfall it'd be too late only if I can't find Otto's killer before then say nothing only if I can't find Otto's killer before then ah yes of course hmm all that space devoted to fields it's a pity we need peasants to work them um they lead hard lives and do difficult work why do you hate the hate peasants so much I'd say they're worthless, but they do necessary labor, I suppose. Even so, they're filthy brutes, idiots to the last, fit only to toil. It's hard to really think of them as people. How did you develop such contempt for them? My father taught me that if you try to help a peasant, they'll only drag you down in their muck. Like a dumb cow stuck in mud. It's best to leave them to their fate. Still, their women are of some value. Don't misunderstand me. They're as stupid as the men, but they do have some charms. Some charms. Some sexual charms. The Netherlands is wrong. 1986? Oh. <laughs> well, shit, there you go. <laughs> when they're young, of course, they age like buttermilk in the, sir, in the sun. <laughs> uh, uh, what does it matter to you? You're a married man. Andreas, marriage is for raising children, keeping a household. There's nothing wrong with enjoying fruit from a tree in another man's yard from time to time. <clears throat> um, oh really? Now how many men have enjoyed the fruit from your tree? Given your contempt for them, I'm surprised any peasant woman would lay with you. Oh really? And how many men have enjoyed the fruit from you? I must admit, I'm no stranger to infidelity. I'm gonna go with the hedonism one, even though it's fucked up, but it's a dangerous game. I must admit I'm no stranger to infidelity, but it's a dangerous game. There's no danger, despite their recent wailing. I, they have no power and pose no threat to me or the abbot. That's true, I stole some apples from my neighbor's backyard. <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Look at what's happened in Swabia. The rebellions have been crushed. The peasants ground back into the dust where they belong. The great lords still hold their lands and their friends still enjoy their protection. You rely a great deal on your friendship with the abbot. The abbot is a strong ruler and he controls his lands with a firm hand. These peasants don't understand how good they have it. Whether the peasants disband or suffer the Duke's wrath, the abbot's current peril is only temporary. Well, that's enough talk for now. Are you ready to head up? Just a moment. Of course. I think there's a... Cool. Nice. That's true. I fucked my neighbor's husband. <laughs> I fucked my neighbor's assholes. Um, are you ready? Yes. Let's con Yes, let's continue. Wow. Deer come through the clearing at all. Deer come through this clearing at all times of the year. There's a natural blind spot. Bl there's a natural blind up ahead. We can watch them there. I have to admit, I didn't think much of you when you were last in Tassing. Poor, poor artists and all that. <laughs> That's interesting because I didn't think much of you either. What changed? You made something of yourself. Became a master in Nuremberg. In seven years, you've gone from boarding at a rundown peasant's hovel to running your own successful workshop. Men like us make our own fortune. Um, didn't your father? <clears throat> didn't your father build the mill? <laughs> the old mill. 
I built this one, the only windmill in Bavaria, with his fortune. You're missing the point. We built something for ourselves. <laughs> That's not important. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Peter, Peter Gertner will toil the same field his father did until he drops. Big Yorg will do the same. Peasants ask for the world, but they can't even comprehend what's outside of their tiny plot of land. <clears throat> this rebellion by the farmers, it won't go anywhere. Whether it ends peacefully or violently, they won't win. If they need a scapegoat for Otto's death, look to Martin Bauer. Why would he want to kill Otto? Martin didn't want to support Otto's little rebellion. He was quite happy with the way things were. Something changed recently. I think Otto learned something about Martin that Martin didn't want to get out. It was dire enough to change Martin from rejecting... from... Resisting Otto. Okay. <laughs> Peter? Peter Griffin? That's right. Peter Griffin's gonna lead the town of Tassing. That's cute. They painted the little snowflakes up in the air. It was dire enough to change Martin from resisting Otto to wholeheartedly supporting him in front of the town. How fortunate it is that you were eating with Werner and Baltus when the murder happened. Um... It must have been Providence. God wouldn't want me punished for something I didn't do. Shh, get down. He's there, see him? You lead, I'll follow. <laughs> boom ba doom bum Oh boy, <laughs> the snow sure tastes good. I think there's an achievement if you don't shoot the deer. Take the shot! Can I just not? Oh, refuse to shoot at the deer. Nice. Cool. Ha uh, I got it. Ah, ha ha ha. I got an achievement. Ah ha ha. Because I read through the achievements earlier. The only 1.8% of players have. 1.8. So out of 10 people, I'm one third. I am one. I'm 0.6% of the three people of the 10 people who play this game. Um, uh, you missed me by inches. I heard the ball fly past my head. Better than hearing it hit the back of your skull. I'll admit it's not the most accurate weapon, but it hit, a, it hit the target in the end. What a privilege not getting my head blown off by my hunting partner. Oh, relax, Mela. You're fine. Let's find the stag. I can't, it can't have gone far. Nice. Sad. Yeah, I, it's dead, bro. It's, it's lying motionless in the fucking dead. It's not dead yet? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> why, did you, why didn't you take the shot? I couldn't. Then why did you even come up here? Never mind, it's easy enough to remedy. You seem to take pleasure in overpowering helpless creatures. It is the nature of a wolf to feed upon sheep. You're a miller. You make flour. I'm a miller with a gun! Stab its neck. Slit its throat. <laughs> now then, let's find a long stick to carry the deer. Hey, there's a long stick right there, isn't there? Uh. He's a miller with a gun. My name's Miller. It was a good hunt. Thank you for coming with me. Pff, was it? We were just having an argument about like two hours ago. I went with you hoping you would tell me something useful about Otto's death. And I did. Maybe it wasn't what you wanted, but I don't really care about what you want. Think about what I said, Martin. Think about what I said about Martin. I'll look into it. I'm glad to hear it. Good luck, Andreas Mahler. Bambi deleted scene. <laughs> Two hours remain. Troops have arrived. Oh, I don't know who's gonna... Everyone will be wanting to hear my evidence now. I best head to town. Be prepared to name a suspect. Oh, you're fucking killing me. Pointing to Martin. Oh, no. This is so bad. I literally don't fucking know. Duplicitous accounts. Um. Oh. <laughs> the townsfolk be coming in to con confess their sins. Should also visit Lenhart Miller. You must know something. I asked around the Golden Hand to learn about what learn what the burgers have heard from local from locals and travelers. I also need to search the return of Martin Bauer. Johan Bauer told me he doesn't think. Well, I know that guy. Who that guy is? Soldiers approach. 
Oh, this is so bad. It's clear she's having an affair. I could just blame it on Hannah. <laughs> nah, Nico couldn't tell me anything specific about his death, but he suggested a few drinks might loosen the cost. I should have done that. I was like, oh, that wasn't. I was like, nah, it's not worth it. Okay, Sister Amelie heard Guy's confession to Father Thomas. Otto saw him writing the Abbey's financial ledger and confronted him about it, determined to prove the Abbey was hoarding money. Guy confessed to Father Thomas that he was embezzling money from the Abbey. Sister Amelie told us because she recognized that Guy was abusing the seal of confession to ensure Thomas would not tell the abbot. Now I need to see if I can find any more evidence of Guy's misdeeds. I found the Abbey's financial ledger in the sacristy. Brother Guy was balancing the books using a double bookkeeping method. He keeps meticulous records, maybe too meticulous. There is mostly, a mostly blank scrap of parchment between the pages. Its purpose is unclear. I found a book in the abattoir that seems quite out of place. It's a manual on enacting necromancy rituals. There was a few, also a loose piece of paper with handwritten notes tucked between the pages. Some of the handwritten notes in the necromancy book use Burgundian terms. Brother Guy is the only person in Kearsaf from Burgundy. He must have been the one who wrote in it. Brother Guy gave me a note he received shortly before Otto's murder. It seemed to suggest Otto knew about the Abbey's financial situation and, and told Guy where he would be found on that night. It's yet another note from the thread puller. Oh, God. All right. Um, Adox Affliction. I've located some... Yeah, investigating Otto's murder. I'm, <laughs> I have no fucking clue. Bless you, Master Mailer. <clears throat> Can I go to the Roman ruins one more time? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, it's over. <laughs> it's fucking over. I have fucked the dog on this one. Meadow. Oh, balls. Can I actually go? Let's go to the Golden Hand. Maybe I can loosen some tongues. Maybe I, maybe I have some... Maybe I can get get away with it. Oh, fuck. Uh, hey, how's it going? Oh, no. <laughs> Mommy. Hannah. Hannah. Killian. Good day, Master Mailer. Hello, Master Mailer. Anything I can do for you? No, nothing. Sorry to bother you. Wow. All right. Well, I fucked the dog on this one. God bless you. Maybe I can go up to the Abbey one last time. Please, please fucking let me get away. Oh, God, this is fucked up. I'm hoping something happens maybe in the actual trial that I can just be like, um, hey, uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna, wait, maybe I, can I see if, if the medicine worked on the dude? Oh, she's down there, Marguerite. God bless you, Master Mailer. Hello, Sister Marguerite. Sister Gertrude said one of the townsfolk was killed. What happened? Otto Zimmerman, the town carpenter, was crushed by part of the construction at the rat house. Oh, no. I heard some of the sisters saying it was a murder, and the peasants chafed, chased the monks into the library. Sister Jenna even said they're accusing Father Abbott. Is that true, Master Mailer? Um, yes, but it couldn't have been the abbot. I'm trying to find out who really killed Otto. I pray you do, Master Mailer. Everyone's getting scared. I heard Sister Sophie last night crying. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to help you guys. Mother Illuminata says God will preserve us, but everything just keeps getting worse. Maybe the Lord is punishing the abbey. Why would God... Um, why would God want to punish Kyrsau, Sister? I don't think the abbot should treat the peasants so harshly, but I don't know what to think anymore. Has anything else happened in the convent recently? Well, uh, a man ran into me when I was watching lettuce, washing lettuce in the herb hut uh, but a few days ago. Is that so strange? Yes, even in a joint monastery, the sisters and brothers' quarters are separated. He should have been in the church since it was almost vespers. Um, who was it, sister? Can you describe? Um, strange indeed. And you couldn't even see who it was. Just our luck. Um, do you remember anything? Strange indeed. Do you remember anything about him? I can do my best, even though the hut was dark. Uh, you're blind, too. I knew it was a man because his figure was taller than any of the sisters, and he grunted when he bumped me. Could it be one of our suspects, master? Hmm, perhaps. Did you recognize his voice? No, he didn't say anything, but I felt the texture of one of the habits when he bumped into me. His skin was softer, too, and he was knocked back when we collided. He grabbed me and moved me out of the way. No beard, either. Oh, what would a brother be doing in the herbal hut? I don't know. 
He startled me, but when was in and out of the hut before I could call out, bang things around too. I think it was one of the younger brothers. The rest aren't light on their feet. I can hear them shuffling all the way across the garden. That still leaves a few suspects. Brother Lucas and Brother Guy both fit that description, as does the abbot. Huh. But the abbot has his own house. What would he be doing sneaking around in the herb hut? You're right. Father Gurno would, would just order one of the brothers to get something for him anyway. Master Mailer! How cheeky. <laughs> that leaves Lucas or Guy. If I may, Master Mailer? Yes, Sister Marguerite? Um, Brother Lucas and I are friends. I don't think he'd hide from me. That leaves Brother Guy. Guy is young and fast enough to be in and out in a flash. But Sister Marguerite, what was he doing here? I don't know, Master Mailer. I couldn't tell what he was doing or if he took anything. By the time I realized what had happened, Sister Sophie came and got me for supper. Uh, I, did you tell any of the sisters? I told Sister Gertrude about it, and she agreed it was very odd, since whoever it was should have been at supper. I might be able to help you identify which herb jars he grabbed. We should get her blessing first, though. She's a stickler about her herbs. Would you help me find her? Of course, Sister. Oh, oh my god, this might be the fucking break I need. Sister Gertrude, may I take Master Mailer into the herb hut? We're looking for anything that man might have left behind. Ah, oh, your mystery intruder. Why are you so interested, Andreas? Because someone got murdered recently, and it's so suspicious. We think Brother Guy was rooting around. He may have left something. We'd like to double check. Um, I'd like to see if whoever, whoever it was left anything behind that may be connected to Otto's murder. They may have taken something that relates to Otto's murder. Um... Very well. I'd prefer you not just open every jar, however. Some of the herbs need to remain sealed. Then are we supposed to figure out if he left anything? I know the jars by sound. If you gently shake them, Master Mailer, I should be able to tell you which ones he picked up as I came in. I know he used three of the jars. Once we find all three, we can figure out which is the last one he opened. All right, that sounds reasonable. This way, then. Oh, look at this herb hunt. It's got a cat, too. Fuck. Oh, my God. All right, fuckers. We're going to shake some fucking herbs when we get back. Fuck you.